Hey, I just came from a backyard chill and, you know, hanging out with some guys, some folks that I'm a bit, a uh, couple of things happen, right? One of them was somebody asked me, how do you get so much engagement on your posts? It kind of felt kind of good. It's like, hey, you really want to know? But he didn't really want to know because he got distracted. He did. What would, have I, what would I have said? I would have said, just be real. Just ask questions to, to people. You know, ask them questions that allow them to exhibit their expertise. Allow them to shine. Allow other people to shine. That's what gets engagement on posts. And you know what? He asked me, is it because you just have so many friends? I don't know. I mean, I've got about 3,000 connections here on Facebook or wherever this is going to be posted. I, on Facebook, I've got about 3,000 friends. And, you know, I don't think it's because of that number of friends. I think it's because I'm connected with really cool people, people that I connect with. And, you know, there could be somebody with 4,000, 5,000 friends on Facebook and get zero engagement, right? Like, that's totally possible, too. Because a lot of the people that I engage with, I feel like I know them in some ways. I, I see their posts. I'll comment on their posts sometimes. They'll comment on my posts sometimes. We will we'll direct message sometimes. Like there's, there's, you know, I'll look at their profile. I'll see what they're doing. I feel like I know them a little bit, right? That's what, that's why people engage with my post. And that's why I will engage with somebody's post. I don't engage with somebody's post really, you know, more often than not, I guess it's a combination of the post and the person who's posting, right? So, other thing that happened, which, uh, you know, it's kind of very interesting to me, is uh, I heard a couple of guys talking about real estate. Also, I piped, sort of poked my little nose in right there, piped in, stuck around, got a little close to the conversation. One of the guys I knew, the other one I didn't know. And, you know, then I started getting into a conversation with, uh, with a guy that I knew after the fact. And it was, you know, he was, uh, keep this car or something, the light doesn't go dead. He was basically saying, you know, I was talking to him about, you know, possibly, possibly getting a, uh, getting in on a deal with him. Right? Like asking him, you know, he doesn't want, he doesn't want money. He doesn't want to take money. He does deals by himself, you know, him and his father. So, you know, so it's hard. So I'm not, he doesn't want, he doesn't. I, to, I told him, you know what, I can raise some money myself, some investors. Uh, and he was just like, what's in it for me? So he's not a syndicator, right? He's not a syndicator. He does these deals by himself, right? Anywhere between, he's doing a seven plex deal up to like a 20 plex deal. You know what's funny though? He said, how much can you get me? How much can you invest? And I was like, I can probably do like, you know, with some investors, get like 200. And he was like, it's not worth my time. Like, what's that going to do? Like, it's not even going to help him out with a deal. So he's talking about, and then, you know, he's talking about money. Him and this other guy were talking about money that was, to them, was chump change. And to me, was a lot of money. So it's, it's encouraging for me, right? Grant Cardone says, get yourself around people where, who are where you want to be. Get yourself around people who are there. So I need to be able to get around, right? So I'm thinking already, okay, hey, I've got, this guy's got some knowledge. He's been doing this real estate investment for some time now. Uh, so, you know, maybe I should take this guy out to lunch, right? Take him out to coffee, just pick his brain. He's a cool guy. He's a nice guy. He'd be willing to give me information. He'd be willing to help me. You know, I asked him, I said, hey, so, you know, you know how to look at a deal and see if it's a good deal? He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that's, that's not his issue. That's my issue. And I've got an issue. I don't know what a good deal. I don't know how to value a property. To me, everything is just a freaking expensive property. Everything is just a property. I, I don't know how to value it, really. I don't. You know, yeah, there are different methods. I just haven't done it before. Can I do it? Of course, I could do it once I learn how to do it. I just haven't done it before. So anyways, just want to share, you know, that that's it's exciting. You know, go out there and uh, meet people who are, you know, I, I've never seen the, the first guy. I didn't see him commenting on my post. I said, hey, how come you're not commenting on my post? You see my posts? 
I haven't seen you comment on them before. Like, oh yeah, I'll push a like button. Like, don't push a like button, bro. I, I appreciate the like button, but comment on it because I'm not looking at every like, right? I do the numbers of likes. Yes, I'll see, but not every single person who likes it. Um, you know, sometimes I will. Sometimes I will. But for sure, if somebody comments on one of my posts, I'm going to that comment and I'm responding to it. All right, that's what I do. Um, it's appreciation, right? Just they took the time to comment to my post. The least I can do is take the time and comment on their comment. Um, and so that was that was nice. And then you know, just hey, it was a good night, man. It's a good night so far. If that was if that was the end of it, that would be awesome. But you know what? Now I'm going to go inside and I'm going to do some stuff. Going to do some other stuff, some work. Talk to my buddy out there in Sri Lanka, working on a cool hush hush project. Shh, shh, shh. You'll find out soon. And hopefully it comes through. Hopefully it works out. I'm sure it will. But uh, it might be hopeful thinking, but I don't think it is. Anyways, have a great night. Good talking. Bye-bye.